name is Feijão, and this is where I live. We call it Ipanema. We have been living on this mobile house for the last three and a half years. We actually started back in Europe. We've sailed the Mediterranean Sea, we've actually crossed the Atlantic Ocean, we've sailed the Caribbean Sea, and now we are about to embark on a pretty big adventure. We want to try and cross the Pacific Ocean to reach a much dreamed destination called the French Polynesia. on the 15th of April. Man, it was so cool. We were first greeted by this awesome rock called Kicker Rock or Leon Dormido as they say here. It's one of Galapagos most beautiful sites. As we were approaching San Cristobal, which was our first stop here, we had this mola mola fish swimming right alongside our boat. It was the first time we all ever saw one of these prehistoric looking fish. Super cool. I was told Galapagos is a national park. It's made up of a group of volcanic islands formed over 5 million years ago. Since then, the process of transformation of Galapagos has not ceased. It is a haven for countless species of plants and animals, and it was here that a young scientist named Charles Darwin arrived in 1835 on board the sailboat Beagle, and he began formulating a coherent idea about the evolution of species which would years later revolutionize the world. For our boat to get permission to visit the islands, we had to previously get a special permission called an autographer, so we could anchor and our crew could disembark. Well, all except me. Unfortunately, you're not allowed to bring any sort of animals nor plants into this special ecosystem. It actually made sense, and we all agreed it needs to be preserved for the sake of all humankind. I was stuck on our boat for our time here, but actually I was not too bothered. I slept a lot, and at the end of every day I would hear our crew talk about the latest adventures and all the animals they saw, some for the very first time in their lives. I was also kept pretty entertained on board. We had these sea lions that would swim by and eventually try and climb on board too. I had to bark them off. My dad says they look like me. They're lazy, they're playful, and they're chubby.
we visited in total three of the islands, San Cristobal, Santa Cruz and Isabella. Our crew did a lot of diving in some awesome spots like Kicker Rock, Cordon's Rock and Tortuga Island. They all said it was the best dives of their lives. They saw for the first time a whale shark. Man, this was my mom's dream. She was over the moon. They also saw several hammerhead sharks, mola molos, sea turtles, sea lions, white tip, black tip, and Galapagos shark, all of course in addition to hundreds of colorful fish. On other days they went snorkeling, which they said was as much fun. On one of these days they swam with a bunch of playful sea lions on Tijeretas, this was in San Cristobal Island. Then with seahorses, sea turtles and white tip sharks at Los Tuneles.
that's cool too. It's crazy the array of animals you can see in Galapagos. From marine and land iguanas to giant turtles, blue-footed boobies, frigates, sea lions, and even bright pink flamingos. We were not lucky enough to spot penguins, but they say they live here too for parts of the year. we leave Galapagos and set sails towards our much dreamed French Polynesia. This will be the longest crossing we have all ever done. 21 days at sea, six people on board and me facing our fears but also trying to enjoy the ride. <laughs> <laughs>